Colorado. New Colorado coming in with Coach Prime. Shador Sanders, his son at quarterback. Shador Sanders, when he was at Jackson State, threw for 70 touchdowns and threw for over seven over 7,000 yards there at Jackson State. They got Travis Hunter, who's going to be a guy to look out for. First team All-Pac-12. He was first team All-Pac-12 as a DB. Second team as a wide receiver. First team as an all-purpose guy. Travis Hunter. And obviously, they got 51 transfers coming in. Guys from Clemson. Guys from Florida State. Uh, they've got a ton of guys coming in. They've got a month of fall camp. We'll see if they can get it together. But a lot of guys from different pieces and scenarios. Super underrated at 11. Your thoughts about Colorado and Coach Prime in their last year in the Pac-12? I think that Colorado is going to actually be interesting. Um, tough opener, obviously, at TCU. Um, but I think that there are plenty of winnable games on the schedule. You know, I think that ultimately people are going to think that Coach Prime is going to get washed in year one. And I think uh, they're going to surprise some people. I think the amount of talent that he's been able to attract to Boulder um, not to mention the guys that he was able to bring with him from Jackson State and from other places that are going to be immediately eligible to play because of the transfer portal. Um, I think that Colorado's positioned themselves well enough to where it won't be an embarrassing season. I don't think that they're going to go bowling this year, but I do think mm-hmm. they're going to jump up and surprise a couple people in the pack. Um, and TCU, you know, who knows? Like, at the end of the day, like, it's game one, week one, Coach Prime calls a couple trick plays. Maybe they block a punt, get a kick return. Travis Hunter gets a pick six or something like that mm-hmm. against, you know, a new starting quarterback, technically. Um, you never know. So just keep an eye on Colorado. I think, like you said, I think they're underrated slightly. Um, but uh, I think that Coach Prime will have a little bit of success in year one and set himself up for a banner year in year two. Yeah, they've got they've got a ton of talent offensively and defensively, but a guy I'm looking forward to see is Travis Hunter. He's playing both sides. He's never said which position he likes most. And Cody, for me, it's tough because this guy's a baller on both ends. I can't even tell which position he's better at. They've got a great coaching staff. Kent State, I forget the name of him, but um, the Kent State the Kent State head coach literally was a head coach there and left to be the offensive coordinator for Colorado. The defensive coordinator, Alabama, left to go over to Colorado. So the prime effect is going. I love that they're super open about um, the social media access. His his son, Deion Sanders Jr., posts a YouTube video every night about what happened in Colorado. I love seeing that behind the stuff. You and me being football junkies, former college football players, that's stuff that we love. And that's where I think more teams need to be more involved in social media, more behind the scenes. I'm not saying plays. I'm not saying, like, position meetings, but to show the players' personalities, it's going to draw NIL people. It's going to draw people to fan bases and more collectives and other deals and stuff because these players, their personality, people fall in love with players. If you could show the behind the scenes, I know they're going to come out with Coach Prime season three too, but I just, I love what they're doing over there, man. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of what Coach Prime's done and changed Colorado. Yeah, you know, he's done a great job highlighting the program and the guys within it. I think at ultimately at the end of the day, as the leader of a program, it's your job to make sure that everyone in the program has the best opportunity to be successful, not only on the football field, but also in life. And I think that ultimately he's doing that. And I think that he rubbed a couple people the wrong way. But if you really take a look at what he's doing for the guys in his program, he is making sure that those guys are taken care of. And that's his job as the head of the program. 